Welcome. Hi, and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. Today, we're going to make a tri chocolate trifle <coughs> dessert. Now, the word trifle means a dessert with multiple flavors on it. It means you have to have a cake, you have to have something cool whip, and a pudding and strawberry. Basically, it's a dessert with so many multiple flavors on it that is tantalizing to your tongue. So, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator until we're ready for it and keep this refrigerated until we're ready for it. Alright, first of all, you need to decide, you want to have a dessert dish that has kind of clear looking so you can have some color on it. And you need to have, use something to cut your cake that's about the same size of the inside of your dish. See how that works like that? Because you want to cover it. So, you need to have a cutting board and an angel foot cake. And let me get something. I washed my hands, but let me get where I'm going to be actually handling food that other people ate from. I want to get some plastic gloves to put over my hands out of the box. Okay. And the easiest way to open gloves is like this. Here's a little hint. You start by separating the plastic because it always sticks together and go like this. And it opens it to make it workable. Okay. I bought, I purchased, now you can make it from a mix or from scratch, but as in Sea Sparkles Corner, we always do quick and easy. So I purchased a ready-made angel food cake. If I can get it out. Hello, me. First off, you want to get your finger in the seam there. And just basically turn it around. Then you set it down so we don't slip off. You turn it around. Boom. Now, you don't have to use angel food cake. You can use pound cake. But I'm just using angel food because, well, I was kind of in the mood for angel food. All right. So I'm going to take that, kind of flatten it out a bit, and then put that right in your cup, right down your bottom. Press it with your finger there. And cut it about a quarter of an inch. And do the same again. And do the same again. Now if you use a pound cake and you cut it, you'll need to take the cup and do the cutting like this. So we're going to take for the next layer, some mocha chocolate. And that's one cup of milk. I got D class milk. Now, if you want it richer, feel free to do canned, but you don't want it any thinner than that. And while this is mixing, you're going to see what we're going to do next. I forgot to get the scissors. Scissors, scissors, scissors. All right. And while this is mixing, we're going to do the next thing. You'll see. That needs to be grated up, Dave. It's stuck together still. That's not good. It'll be fine. I think you're wrong. Just start out on one for a little bit. Lock it. Once you try it like that, I disagree. It's 
working. Pudding to it. <clears throat> and let's hope this is in better shape than the other one. And it's not. Person with a thousand and one ways of dealing with these things. That's what I am. Oh, by the way, when you got old puddings or mousses or even clumped up ones, use this one instead. You can purchase them and then have them like that too. You can also purchase them and have them all clumped up as well, but use this one because this, uh, this is more forgiving, so it's not, it's not ceramic. Or if you're lucky enough to have an electric mixer with a with metal cutting head, use that instead. Always, always start out at one.
flavor. Now, let's open this up. This thick. All right, we're gonna have to refrigerate this because we use pudding and not a mousse. So, we're gonna put a layer of pudding on it. Well, I don't think there has to be refrigerated since you got whipped cream in there. All right, let's refrigerate that and we're gonna put, I'm gonna put this back on, on mixing some more. Okay, let's refrigerate this. And then we'll be back and I'm gonna refrigerate and that's instant so it won't even take five minutes. While that is refrigerating and um, I thought, I'm gonna put this back on the mixer. But that mess so it doesn't, you know, it settles too much. We're going to make the next layer. Okay, we're gonna take and cut three more. Now you can make three of these, six of these, nine of these, twelve of these, a hundred of these, whatever. And um, we're gonna cut that up. There's the three for when they come out of the refrigerator and somebody put this on top of the angel food container. Let me get a paper towel and wipe this. Somebody use the angel food container. All right, I got an easier solution. I have a cake tin. I'm just gonna put it in my cake tin. All right, that'll keep that safe. I'll just put this in the recycle. Okay, now let's get back to the recipe. The recycling's gotta go out and it's tomorrow's recycling day. All right, let's finish this. Now that that's refrigerated a little bit. I want you to look at this. See how beautiful that looks? All right, now we're gonna put right on top. Put right on top. That's gonna still fit right in, put that right on top. Right on top. See? Now for the strawberry jam. There's nothing as tasty as strawberry and chocolate together, in my opinion. You've had chocolate-covered strawberries. Well, this is just another way to do this. All right, we're done with the strawberry. We use strawberry jam. We're done with the strawberries. these on top. Are you getting that? Spray these on top. This needs a little bit more. We're covering up the cake. That's essentially what we're doing. Right. Now, we're going to finish up with the chocolate. Okay, I want you to see this. We're going to take a little bit of Cool Whip. It's empty. There you go. Time to open another creamy whip. All right. Queen spoon. 
Yeah, I need a clean spoon. All right, now we're gonna put a dollop on each one on top. All right, let's spread this out. Spread this across. Spread this across. Spread this across. Okay, now we're gonna finish up with the chocolate. Let's get the chocolate on top. I'm kind of evening this out because we're getting near to the end of the recipe. This is going to give your taste buds a wonderful sensation. All right, now let's finish up with a dollop on top for decorations. Get off the spoon. All right, get off the spoon, okay. Now let's put this in the refrigerator and then we'll be back and taste test it. Chill now, 10 minutes to 15 minutes. And then you're going to be in for the taste sensation of your life. Welcome back. These have been refrigerating. And I've got one for me and one for my son. And you're going to see me taste test it and his taste test. All right. Here it is. Get a close-up of this. Isn't this beautiful? Look at that. Okay. Now, let me take a bite. Mmm. Oh goodness. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. 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 Sorry about that. That's what it looks like on the inside. It's just everything is so good. Mm-hmm. Now let David taste test it. My third person taste test it and she loves it. I've been thinking about this for several days. Okay. And I always love going to ice cream parlors with different colors, so I wanted something unique and different. So He's now feeding the to, camera, sharing. Now, now I'll transform this into uh, something else. That's sweet, sweet. And it's good. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'd say it's good. Give it a shot. I've been thinking it's about this recipe different. for several days and thinking all all the stuff I liked and just kind of putting it together and it's just heavenly. So give it a try. Thank you for watching. Thank you for visiting with C Sparkles Corner. And as always, we love you and appreciate all of our viewers. And as always, the fun never ends. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share. Feel free to subscribe. And check out our patrons page. Hugs and kisses from my family to yours. We love you. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Come back soon.